Well, with me now to delve much more into this issue of food waste, loss and efforts to reduce it is Gerardo Soto. He's founder and managing director of Food Waste Experts and joins us now from New York. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Rachel. How are you? Good, thank you. Now, China, as we saw, has proposed laws to curb food waste that are expected to pass at this week's two sessions legislative meetings. Now, the government has framed this as a food, as a food security issue. How does that framing change the way that it's addressed? Correct. I mean, it is a balancing act. I mean, we have food waste on one hand, and then we have people with access to no food. It's just a way of redirecting that food. So there's a lot of food that can be rescued. For example, restaurants can donate all that food to food banks or to shelters and, uh, and pantries. So then tell us more about how reducing food waste can help with food security, both in China and other countries. Yeah, definitely. So there are many programs that um, are taking place around the world where, for example, we have um, restaurants that all the food that they, um, they cannot sell, after nine o'clock, all that food is donated and it goes to food banks, it goes to churches where they can donate that food to the people that they need. And in that way, we're able on one hand to use all those resources and on the other hand, we can feed that people that they need that food. So then for people who aren't familiar, give us some context. Just how large is this issue of food waste in the world? And what is it costing us as a society? It is a big problem, uh, Rachel. About 70% of the food that we grow every year, it's lost. That's about 930 million tons per year. And one of the things that happens is that just, it's not only when we throw an apple to the garbage, that it gets lost. We need to think about all the resources to make that apple. For example, we're losing a lot of water, energy, CO2. There's a lot of things that go behind that apple. All of those resources are gone. And so that certainly speaks to the climate. And we know that climate experts have also identified food waste as a top sustainability problem. And the United Nations Environment Program has a goal of eliminating half of all food waste by the year 2030. So explain how food waste contributes to sustainability as well as some of these big climate change issues. Correct. Um, one of the things that happens is that when we send food waste to the landfill, it generates methane, which is uh, worse than CO2. The other thing that happens is all of that food waste converts into water that is leachate and then contaminates the water streams. So it is a lot of damage that happens when we're sending that food waste, I mean, to the landfill. So then is food waste mainly a problem that's found in wealthier countries or developing countries or really it just depends on where the food is produced? That's a great question. I mean, one of the things that was just released on that uh, United Nations uh, report is that the average per capita waste is 180 pounds per year. That's about uh, two thirds um, of a pound. And to put that in perspective, we're basically throwing away two bananas every single day. That's a lot of food that we're throwing away. And what we've seen is that it is the similar figure between low income and high income countries. So it is across the board. So then, since this is across the board then, what behaviors or systems really tend to be the biggest contributors to the food waste issue? There are many things, I mean, behind, I mean, um, the food waste problem. One of the things that happens is that the major contributor to the food waste problem is uh, the households. So we're really wasting a lot of food waste at our homes. So there are many things that we can help with in order to, to minimize that food waste, for example, we can use all of the food that we have on hand, just be creative light like chefs, rather than go to the store and buy more food. We can also be very diligent and make a list when we're going shopping. But one of the things that is important is just to keep that list and not buy anything else. Leftovers. Leftovers is something that in many countries, we just throw them away. We can eat those leftovers. We can create other food with those leftovers. So there are many things that we can contribute. I think that's one of the positive things that we as a society, we can contribute a lot to this problem. So then short of laws, what else can governments or policymakers really do to incentivize change to really stem this problem of food loss and food waste? Correct. One of the most important things is awareness. People need to understand the problem. So what the government can do is they can do a lot of um, campaigns discussing the food waste problem. 
And in that way, people can understand what are the alternatives, what are the things that they can work on. And one of the things that we've seen in some countries around the world is that these campaigns, they do really work because people start thinking, getting more conscious about when they're throwing food away. And just quickly, would you say the pandemic has improved or exacerbated existing food waste and food loss issues? Pandemic has really impacted, I mean, and in, in many ways. Um, one of the things that we've seen is that um, there are many countries that they had a lot of disruptions in their food chain. And that really has impacted the way the food moves from one country to another country. And that really is going to impact a lot in the future if we don't really take care about um, what we do with our food.